fucking brilliant from the Reds. Another three-one scoreline. Another win in London. Another three points and another big fat two fingers for all the Bell End banter boys who've been giving us shit the last week or so, whatever it might be. The Reds now in a healthy-looking third place in the league. Uh, only a point behind Manchester United, who were, were winning the thing the other day, weren't they? Uh, and, and City there on 44 points with a game in hand that were four points behind them. But they are, of course, coming to Anfield next week. Uh, a ground they don't particularly like traditionally. Anyway, I've got uh, Neil Docking and I've got Fuad Hassan. And we're going to talk about how fucking brilliant the Reds were just now in the 3-1 win over West Ham. Uh, Neil, that was fucking brilliant, wasn't it? Second half from Liverpool in particular. Oh, it was amazing, wasn't it? In some ways, it was even more satisfying than Thursday night, I think. Um, Thursday night, it was brilliant, you know, because we waited so long for a goal. It was a big game. You knew we had to get the win and we were right at it from the off. But today was one of those games where at half time, you're crying it in, aren't you? <laughs> you're okay. crying it in, yeah. crying it in in the, in the messages to your mates and you're saying, oh, look at this lineup, or oh, more of the same. You can just see Moise's smug face at full time if they'd held on for a famous <laughs> draw. If that absolute Fellaini reincarnated in midfield had like oh, powered in a header at the end, you could have seen him, couldn't you? His smug little goblin on the sideline. Well, it didn't happen, did it, mate? Because the Reds smashed you in the second half, um, which is just exactly what we needed. And Mo Salah rediscovering the golden touch, rediscovering that beautiful poise, that grace. And just finishing with a plum, which is the best way to finish. If you're going to finish, do it with a plum. With a plum. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, feel like the goals were, were unbelievable. Liverpool's goals, weren't they? I mean, what what, what about the cube? What a ball yeah. from the cube! <laughs> it was unreal. I mean, initially when he hit it, it just looked like he completely over. You know, it, it was too high. It looked like it was just going to go straight into the keeper's hands. But if I mean, on the replays, you can see he, he gets his head up. He sees the run, and to hit it first time as well as he does. And honestly, it's inch perfect. I mean, the touch makes it look even better than it is. But still, to be able to to see that ball, I mean, it was four it was four bits of absolute quality for that goal, wasn't it? The Trent ball out wide, the the, the pass obviously, and Salah's first touch is, I mean, it's, it's one of the best touches I've seen. Yeah. And the finish is just it's so quick that you know most people trying that just see that ball go out for a corner, and that's most professional footy players. So I think you know for him to do that, for him to to have that kind of magic touch again in this game was just. I mean, needed number one, but also just so good going forward because, you know, going into it, we're all a bit flat, weren't we? The, the first half kind of panned out how that lineup looked um, for all mm. of us. And you, you see Mane's missing, you see Firmino's missing, especially after the big game on, on Thursday. And you think this was the chance for them to all to get back and, you know, score another few goals together and do it all. But, you know, everyone else stepped up to be fair to them. So, yeah, it's a huge result. I think it's it's probably. I, I think we might look back at it as one of the biggest results of of the season, just because of how dire it kind of looked before the game with the injuries and how good West Ham are. You know, have been this season. You have to, you have to give it to them. They are. They have been. Well, good. They were above us the other day, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, Neil. It, it does feel. It, it's been a great week, hasn't it? Let's be honest. You know, with with the, with the Spurs results as well, and now this one, and also the way all the other results have gone as well. I mean, apart from City beating Sheffield United, you know, he couldn't have asked for a for a better set of results. Really, you know, Leicester losing to Leeds today, uh, Evertonians getting a big thwack in the face uh, by getting beat by shitty <laughs> Newcastle, um, you know, etc. And, and United and Arsenal draw. And I mean, it, it 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 ramped it up. And I know what you mean when you say about crying in before, because I was thinking. Oh, is it going to be one of them weekends where everything's falling our way and then we don't take advantage, you know what I mean? And the the, the rumours came round about Sadio missing out and you're like, is this, ne is this never ending? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's, that's exactly how it was, wasn't it? And like, I've got a feeling we're going to be sat here in like 2031 when we've got a couple of injuries and Divock Origi is going to suddenly be drafted into the first team. Like, uh, he's the great survivor, isn't he? Like, he doesn't, he doesn't even kick a ball, it seems, like, competitively for, like, months. He never gets a look in and bam, oh, Divock Origi's starting today and you're like, all oh, right, okay, let's see how this goes. The same way it has a lot of times recently. Um, and with a man, a lot of love for Divi. Um, but yeah, seeing Mane was out, it just, it just felt like it's this never-ending injury crisis, like you say, is it ever going to end? Um we we'd, we'd had such a good uh, couple of days that boost with the win, the news that we might finally be signing a centre half, um, and there's been developments on that, I believe, mid match, which is the kind yeah, of yeah, uh, Ben Davis from Preston. 
Yeah, funny yeah. enough, I saw he was joining Celtic the other day. It came up on my phone, a Celtic are signing Ben Davis from Preston. And straight away I thought, well, why aren't we signing him? <laughs> if, he could, if he's a defender and he could kick a ball, why is he not coming to Liverpool? Um, so magic. Yeah, I, uh, I sent out a mutual friend of ours, uh, famously of Preston, uh, a couple of messages during the game to, uh, mm. to try and find out something about him. And he said he said he's better than that Philip switches as that. Um, <laughs> left sided, left sided centre half, isn't he? Good on yeah, the ball. Yeah, left footed, um, can pass the ball a bit apparently. Uh, quite pacey apparently as well, which would be handy. So th- yeah. there's a few boxes ticked. But then, there. but then saying that Nat Phillips would Nat Phillips, yeah, Phillips right. if he if he if he was sitting here right now, would be well entitled to tell me to fuck off. <laughs>